So, last time we did the spawning the anvil and the cake. And today I will be going to show you how to spawn items using spawners and NBT edit. So, the best way to do this is just get the items you want to spawn. So, let's say I want to spawn like five or six real. And let's do ten grass. And I'll spawn it. I'll leave that there. So I'll just create a completely new one. Give myself a spawner here. Oh. There we go. And let's say I want to spawn it here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my spawn point and kill myself. Just like last time. Uh, NBT edit yourself, this time it's a little bit different. You're gonna set the Y position to th uh, 3, otherwise it will spawn for some reason inside the block. And that's not what we want, it's gonna like jump out and jump everywhere. So let's put it in here. First we'll, we want to spawn an item, so set it to an item with a capital I, otherwise it will crash your game. And spawn data, just like last time. And just paste your position in there. So now it's spawning an item. Uh, I'll set these values to the right one. Uh, uh, let's set spawn range to, well, let, let's set it to one now. And set this to 1, so it's spawning every tick. Max nearby entity is 1. And yeah, those are a lot of items. As you can see, this is not what we want. We want it to spawn an item and then keep it there. Do not. We don't want it to spawn an extra one. So the only way to do that is to spawn it near him. So we'll change the position oh, spawn points kill and well I can use we're, we're just let's see let's see what happened if we do not change the the y position remove the position and paste a new one in there yeah that's what I mean so as you can see it's they're flying everywhere for some reason they're only flying in the same direction but so that's why you want to change that and now he won't spawn anymore that's because oh well he will so what's happening now he's gonna check for an entity near him in a range of two blocks because uh, you need to uh, take the spawn range and multiply it by two and then it will th that's the range in which it will detect for the maximum amount of entities so if we set this to um, max nearby entities if we set this to two then it will keep spawning until I place another entity there now it stops spawning and then it will spawn again and so I'll stop pick this up here but there's one problem. Um, when we stand on top of it, our inventory is getting filled with items. And that's the only way to fix that is by setting it to a short delay to not spawn it, spawn it every tick. So that's what we're going to do now. Set the spawn delay. Um, let's set it to 20. That's one second. And... Well, actually, we'll set it to. You can do it somewhere in between 20 and 40. It doesn't make any difference. So, as you can see, it still spawn keeps spawning, but it's better than than uh, getting those items every tick. So, yeah, yeah, there's not really a way to to stop it from spawning when you're there. Well, maybe with redstone, but it's just way too complicated and unnecessary. So, that's just the way I did it. And uh, now we want it to spawn 
power drill and grass because as you can see it is actually spawning two different items see and now yeah so what item is it is spawning is random and the delay is a bit random as well I guess I'm not sure um, so let's put this item in there what you're gonna do you, uh, the easiest way is to put it in your inventory then NPT edit yourself and go to inventory right here and these are two tags with all the data from the item so we'll just copy the first one and set it in here delete the spawn potentials put it in there you just want to change it to item with a capital I as well as well uh, you can remove the slot doesn't really matter uh, damage is not important and count you want to leave that because that's the amount of it's gonna spawn out oh, as you can see it's already spawning up actually I want to set this to oh so now I've got 12 oh well it's still spawning that's oh I know why actually um, we need to set the spawn range to one higher guess it doesn't spawn anymore now oh Oh, that's really... Why is it doing that? Oh, I know already. I'll just remove... No, wait. That's weird. Let's have a look at this one. Um, yeah, so it's got spawn count 1, spawn range 1, marks near my end. Maybe I... I don't know. It's, it keeps spawning. Oh, set this to oh stupid. So <laughs> now I got a lot of power drill. I'll just remove that. So as you can see, it is spawning six every time. But well, unless you stand there for too long, then so that's why I set the delay a bit higher there. But I'm not gonna do that now. Um, now you can remove that one and and oh, NBT edit yourself again. Uh, go to your inventory and copy. Well, I'm not going to copy it. I'm going to save it into this slot because I'm going to copy something else already in the spawn potentials here. I'm going to copy this one and paste it in there again. And then remove the item and paste the one I just copied from myself in there. So now, as you can see, it is rotating a different item every time. And that's completely random. So, as you can see, it it does not have any order of of giving you the stuff. It's just so that's how I did that. There's uh, so that it, I always I also did that here with well a bit longer delay. Actually, a lot longer. Oh yeah, there it is. Also, that delay is also random. So, but you can also use it for this level. If you get too near, it will close. And this is what I used a lot in my second map, uh, the code to infinite. As you can see, there is a pressure plate here. And if I get too near to the spawner, it will spawn an item. Just like we did over there, but I added one tag. Um, that's here's the spawner. As you can see, it's got H, uh, it's a tag short, so this one, H set to uh, 5999. And what that does, every time uh, an item has got, is, is older than 6000 ticks, it will despawn. So it's basically immediately despawning here. You do want to make sure, um, because I forgot that, and that's pretty dumb actually uh, Captain Sparkles was playing my map and he actually uh, a puzzle was broken because I forgot to set max nearby entities to 9000 so let's see if I, what happens if I set it to 1 
it doesn't close because there is somewhere an entity near him and that's probably over here this one so yeah you, you might want to change that as well um, actually uh, one thing I want to show you is what what I use a lot in the code infinite is spawners like oh yeah also here here I'm spawning items on top of hoppers so that it will be infinite it's got an infinite supply of books so yeah that's that's kind of cool because if just in case you burn the book or something you, you can still just get it <laughs> so yeah um, what I think a lot of map makers should do is over here uh, this spawner is spawning an item on top of this pressure plate and that is triggering these commands uh, you can also just do this oh hold on and that's what I did first um, I can show that actually way over there these are a lot of command blocks and I had it powered like this and uh, well that clock isn't really a problem but it's firing uh, like well about 20 40 command blocks at the same time and that really drops your frame rate so what I think a lot of um, map makers should do is oh, use that spawner to spawn um, an item on top of a pressure plate which triggers a clock so that way only two commands will be fired only when you need them and that spawner isn't really gonna cause any lag at least it's gonna cause way less lag than than this giant thing over here so yeah that's actually um, Q Magnet also made a video on how to make that uh, clock with a spawner. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. And that's it for today. Uh, I wanted to um, do the TNT. How I did. Wait, here it is. This TNT is being spawned when you remove it. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, I wanted to do that next video, but I got a lot of requests on how I did the frozen time puzzle in the code too. So I think I'm going to do that first because, well, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. That's it for today. And I don't really have an outro yet. <laughs> That's it for now. <laughs>